Survivors of Boko Haram's insurgency. Displaced by violence, the militant group remains the biggest threat not only to Nigeria's security, but the region as a whole. Phineas Elisha is a director of public affairs to the governor of Adamawa State. It's one of the three northeastern states worst hit by Boko Haram. He explains just how Boko Haram enforces its laws. It's just a figment of their imagination. Just, just go in and go into your house and say, I've taken over, and that uh, this is the Republic, and that's all. With nothing to offer, no form of government. But uh, initially, unfortunately, they were, they were applying, so we were told, applying Islamic law that uh, the people they caught looting they were summarily tried and then executed according to Islamic law. That was the information the government received at a given stage. Boko Haram's leader Abubakar Shekau is known for his online videos in which he talks about an Islamic revival in Nigeria. But that apparently does not include state buildings, infrastructure, or even food. Some people, when you don't have money, you don't have anything, you will track on your feet. Whereby, if you come tired, you will stay in the bush there. Then some children, they die in the bush because of the nothing to eat and no medicine there. Then some women, they deliver in the, in the bush. The militants have renamed the town of Mubi. It's now called the City of Islam. People go back to the town again to go and look for the medicine. medicine. When they say you go there, they will just say that you turn your trousers like this. When you turn your trousers, you will just carry a beast so that it shows that you are their members. 1.5 million people have been displaced in the violence. Carol Oyola, CCTV.